SEMrush is one of the most used premium marketing tools in the world and it provides useful insights into SEO, backlinks and also information about competitors that advertise through the Google Ads network. SEMrush is a complete all-in-one marketing toolkit that can be used to analyze many different data. You can try SEMrush completely for free for 7 days and the link is also added to the description of this video. And to use SEMrush you first have to create an account by clicking on the link and once the page is loaded you can click on the button to get a free 7 day trial. Now you have to enter your email address and a password and after that you need to click on create your account to proceed. All of this will take you less than a minute to finish. After the account has successfully been created you will now have access to the SEMrush dashboard. The dashboard is well arranged and has many different options on the left in the menu that you can choose from. In another tutorial I will go deeper into all the possibilities because you can do a lot of nice things with SEMrush. But for now I quickly want to show you how to analyze keywords and also competitors. In the tutorial how to create a keyword list I showed you how you can quickly and easily create a complete list of keywords that you can now analyze. So now I want to add some keywords to SEMrush to analyze and therefore I go to the keyword overview option in the dashboard. Here you can enter a maximum of 100 keywords and if you have more than 100 keywords you have to analyze them in different stages. Now I paste a number of keywords from my keyword list into the empty field. After the keywords have been added you can optionally add a location if you want to and you can also adjust this later on. Then you have to click on analyze to continue. Now you can see an overview with the results of all the keywords. And the overview looks quite similar as the free Google Keyword Planner. But as you can see, SEMrush gives a much clearer indication of the search volume and has more useful insights to offer. The column KD stands for Keyword Difficulty and this shows a score that indicates how difficult it is to rank organically in the search engines. The higher the score, the more difficult it is to achieve high positions organically. And now we go over to the next column and over here you can see what the average CPC amount is for advertising on Google Ads. And the competition column shows how high the competition is on the Google Ads network. The results column tells you how many pages are showing in the Google search results for the given keyword and it is logically easier to rank higher if the results are on the lower side. With this information you can very well determine which keywords are most interesting and have the most potential to generate traffic. If you wish you can also export the whole overview by clicking on export. As mentioned before, SEMrush has many more useful options and I will briefly show a few of them in this tutorial. For example, you can click on any keyword to view more information. On the page that is now displayed, you will find useful insights about the keyword at the top. And with SEMrush you can also easily find new keywords in the columns below. This way you can view the keyword variations and the questions and you also have an overview with related keywords. In all three overviews you can immediately see what the average monthly search volume is and also how high the score is to rank organically in the search engines. To view even more keyword suggestions from a certain category you can click on one of the buttons below and then you will see the complete overview. As you can see this way it's super easy to find many more interesting keywords for your website. And of course you can click on any keyword again and then you will return to the page with more information about the keyword, suggestions and other insights. I want to show you one other useful feature in this tutorial and that's the information that you will find at the bottom of the page at SERP analysis. And here you can see which pages are currently ranking in Google for the given keyword. If you want to get inspiration for your own website or you just want to see which pages and content works out for competitors, then you can use these options. By clicking on the icon behind the link, you can open the page of the website in a new tab. When I view pages of competitors, I always pay attention to the headers and what kind of information is displayed on the page. And what I usually do is I collect the topics of all the websites that rank on the first page in Google for the keyword that I want to rank for with my website. And then you can combine all the information that you have found on the websites of your competitors mm -hmm. and you can create a unique page that is way more detailed than all the other pages that are currently ranking in Google. And it is important to make your own unique text, so don't just copy and paste the text from all the websites and combine them, because this can give your website a penalty, and then it will not longer be shown in the search results. So now I go back to the SEMRS dashboard, and just to show you one more time, by clicking on the icons after the link, you can quickly view different websites of competitors. If you click on the link in the SEMRS dashboard, you can view the organic research report of the specific page that is associated with the link. At the top of the page you will find more information about the number of keywords, 
with with this page generates traffic with and how much traffic that is on average per month in total. You can also see from when the page started ranking in Google in this overview. Below that you will find an overview of the top organic keywords and these are the keywords with which this page generates the most traffic with. You can also click on the blue button to view a total overview of all the keywords that are relevant. It actually all works very naturally as you can see and you can gather a lot of information and useful insights with SEMrush. In the column top position changes you can see which keywords are rising or falling for this page and at the bottom of the page you can also find an overview with information from other competitors of this page. Again you can click on the icon behind the link in the overview main organic competitors to view the page of the competitor and if you click on the link itself you can go to the overview with more information in SEMrush. I hope this short tutorial has given you a good idea of how to use SEMrush to analyze keywords, find new keywords and how to analyze competitors. So these were some basics that you need to know about SEMrush and as I mentioned earlier it has way more helpful features to offer and I will make a more in-depth tutorial about that in the future. If you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like and also subscribe to the channel, I would appreciate it. If you have any questions or suggestions make sure to drop them below in the comments. Thank you for watching and until the next one.